Hello to everybody who's watching Toyota Times. Now, the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 has finally started. And the very first online live program of Toyota Times also starts today. The so called Toyota Times Athletes Now is here live online with you. Well, we have this English name. Why do we have this English name? It's because we are webcasting this program worldwide. Together through this program, let's give our full support to the global team Toyota athletes, also known as GTTA. I am Kyonosuke Morita, a new reporter for the Toyota Times. As the main anchor, I would like to deliver messages of support to the Toyota athletes who will participate in the Olympic and Paralympic Games Tokyo. To the best of my ability, I will be serving this role. Now, first of all, let me give you a brief introduction to the Toyota Times athletes now. During Olympic and Paralympic Games Tokyo, we will be webcasting from 7 p.m. Japan Standard Time every day. We will be webcasting the results and schedules of the events in which Toyota athletes will be competing. It's full of information. Of course, in addition, guests will also appear. Not to mention the current athletes, there will be also appearances by former Japanese representative athletes. Now, let me begin with the first episode of the Toyota Times Athletes Now. First, we have a message of encouragement from Toyota Motor Corporation President Akio Toyoda. Hello, Team Toyota Athlete. I'd like to welcome all 200 of you to the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. Each one of you took a different role to get here. And you represent different countries. But you are all here at Tokyo 2020 as a Toyota athlete. And I'm very proud of all of you. This is where you fight for your place in history. And your place is at the top of the podium. Tokyo may be very far from your home. And since the people that support you can't come this year, You may be feeling like you're playing for the away team. But if you close your eyes, this place can be your home. These people supporting you in your home country will always have your back. But please know that all the employees of Toyota and all of our friends in the Japanese automobile industry are supporting you too. That's over five and a half million people. What a whole fan base. Your journey may have begun as start your impossible. But now it's time to achieve your impossible. So, are you ready? Then fight with all your spirit and make your dream come true. I'll be watching. Well, that was President Akio Toyoda who threw out a passionate message to us. Well, surprise, he's actually here in the studio with us. I would like to introduce once again Akio Toyoda, President of TMC. You're the first in line as a guest. I'll be watching. Good evening to everybody, and indeed, it was such a passionate message. And it was in English. Yes, indeed, it was in English. Yeah, the title is in English too, because、uh, this is a global webcast. Now, here in the studio, can I speak Japanese? Yes, indeed, that would actually help me as an anchor. Thank you. Well,、uh, with uh, uh, Mr. Toyoda here, I would like to first address this question. What are some thoughts? Why did you start this Toyota Times Athletes now? Well, Uh, through this program and also through the sponsorship, we wanted to、uh, make the markings of two、uh, legacies. Of course, we are an automaker, and you know, of course,、uh, our task is、uh, cyclical. 
um, there is a you know cycle as to which we uh, go through our production. So you know in that sense, uh, there's a synergy or alignment that we feel towards uh, Olympics, and. Um, you know, we understand that, uh, you know, we have a lot of athletes uh, within Toyota who gave me uh, passionate encouragement uh, through the difficulties that we have been facing as a society. So I wanted to give back the favors to uh, those uh, athletes. And in terms of mobility as well, um, there's a, a support team uh, who are supporting the activities on the forefront of uh, the Olympics. So uh, in order to give support and cheer up those who are on the forefront of such activities, uh, I wanted to make an occasion. And this is indeed the occasion. I am the father of the family. Well, welcome. Uh, it's nice to have our dad in our studio. And as uh, Mr. Toyoda had explained, you know, this program is meant to support and cheers on the athletes. Uh, you are actually an athlete yourself. Let me show you this photo. Have you seen this photo? You represented Japan in field hockey at the Asian Games in Bangkok, Thailand. That's wonderful. That's a global scale. You're such an athlete yourself. So what is cheering for you as an athlete? Well, you know, when you think about the sentiment of an athlete, um, there are many perspectives, of course. Uh, they would like to give, um, you know, feelings of support and excitement to those who uh, cheer on for them. But at the same time, many of them are going through um, you know, difficult uh, sentiment balance taking, and sometimes they feel uh, somewhat uh, lonesome or, um, you know, without the full power. Um, but if you would think in the case of a family, of course, a father is always the main pillar of the family, you know, always standing by. So, you know, I'm the same in terms of the role that I want to play in this Olympics. Uh, I would like to be by the side of the athlete, uh, giving the warm set of eyes. Well, we feel the same way. You know, support or any words of cheers uh, are always helpful, right? You know, of course, uh, we have a situation where we cannot uh, actually be on the site of these competition. Uh, but uh, through the uh, social networking services, your cheers can reach out to those athletes. Uh, take a look at this. Um, hashtag Toyota Times Live, either in English or in Katakana with hashtag. I'm sure your support messages will reach Toyota athletes. Uh, this program will also be a archived. You can watch it when you have time, even if you can't watch it live. We will also archive the English version with simultaneous interpretation to all Toyota friends around the world. We will tell the stories about the Toyota athletes who are competing in Tokyo. This is an important point, right? Yeah. Of course, uh, you know, we are still in the pandemic of COVID, so uh, we couldn't invite the supporters uh, to this country. Uh, many of the overseas athletes actually could be feeling, you know, kind of quote unquote away instead of being quote unquote home, but we would like to uh, be a nice host to make sure that all the overseas athletes feel at home uh, here in Tokyo. Uh, of course, your chairs could be in different forms. Uh, it will be your choice as to how you deliver your words of chairs to those athletes. So of course, uh, you know we can. Web, we are webcasting this overseas, and we are hoping that from Toyota family members there will be many words of uh, support. Now, uh, GTTA stands for Global. Toyota Global Team Toyota Athletes. Uh, I've actually created this poster. Take a look at it. There are many Toyota athletes, also called GTTAs. Now, one 
123 athletes. We are supporting all of these athletes. Um, in terms of the registration number, it's 233 from 47 countries and regions. Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 has 123 athletes competing and Paralympics 57 with 14 still in the selection process. Well, I'm especially happy for the fact that we have so many athletes participating in competition and we are very well diverse in terms of the kinds of competition that we are involved in. Uh, I was involved in field hockey, which is oftentimes regarded as a minor sport. It's not in the main spotlight, so to speak. But we have 40 areas, 40 types of sports that we are engaged in, uh, which is a, a quite a, a praise that I would like to highlight. And uh, I'm sure GTTAs uh, will uh, march on in those games. Of course, um, you know, by having those uh, athletes uh, in the games, those minor sports also will be under spotlight. That's something to be uh, pleased with. So, President Toyoda, I hear that you will stay with us until the end of the program today. We're in full force in Top Gear. The opening ceremony will be held today, but some Olympic sports have already started. Let's go over Toyota athletes' wonderful results. GTTA and GTTA involved team are highlighted in red. Softball opening ground, six members of GTTA are in Japan team, one to Australia 8 to 1 versus Mexico 1 3 to 2, and one member of GTTA in USA one against Italy and Canada. Next, football, Japan versus South Africa, victory 1-0. to zero. Next, archery, women's individual ranking round. It is to decide the combination in the tournament. tournament. Hayakawa Ren of Japan, 16th out of 64 participants, and Aida Roman of Mexico, 6th out of 64. Archery. This is also the ranking round. Muto Hiroki, fifth, fifth out of 64 participants. And rowing, women's single skulls. Representing New Zealand, Emma Twig. Number one out of all players and going on to the next round. Well, some of the sports have already started. How do you think, President? Yes, I think people are wonderful, playing wonderful. Yeah, all victories, right? And like ranking first in this first round, yeah, I'm very happy. Just, I always say, don't just participate. If you are going to participate, win, and they are winning, that's great. Yes, that was the result of Toyota Athletes. In Toyota Times Athletes Now, we will be inviting Toyota athletes who were former Japan national team members who played in global venues. They will join us as members and as athlete broadcasters. Today's athlete broadcaster is former member of Japan national team and women's softball world champion, Ms. Nagasaki Nozomi. Hello. Yes, thank you for having me. Ms. Nagasaki is a former Toyota women's softball team's player in Japan League. She won the Rookie Home Runs RBI Award and participated in the World Championship three times as representative of Japan team. She retired last year. Ms. Nagasaki, how do you feel being our athlete broadcaster? Yes, first of all, softball team winning two matches. Yesterday's Mexico match, Toyota athletes were wonderful. Goto pitching and Matsumi had an end run. Matsumi did an end run that was really great, brilliant. And not just softball, but other sports too. I think there are many attractive sports and I would like to send out the message 
to appeal the wonderful sports. President, you have visited Ms. Nagasaki and seen her play many times, right? Yes, women's softball team. There are many teams, but I visited the training of softball team, so it's one of the teams that I frequently visited you deeply. Well, I'm not sure if deeply, but I did frequently visit. Yes, I think there are many things that you'd like to talk about. We'd like to hear from you in the special feature. In Toyota Times Athletes Now, together with our athlete broadcasters, we will be holding various special features every day. For example, welcome from the world to Tokyo, or Toyota Derby in 100 meter breaststroke. Aim for the goal with Kaizen spirit in marathon. We have lots of special features showing the spirit of Toyota, and I think it will be a great opportunity to get to know and support Toyota athletes. Because it's Toyota Times and Toyota Times athletes now, uh, we can focus on our Toyota athletes. That's great, right? Yes, that's true. Today's special feature, dream match between global, to global team Toyota athletes softball final. Japanese players and Monica Abbott. Competition has already began. The soft doll that we've been talking about, of course, Ms. Nagasaki. Toyota athletes playing in softball. There are members representing Japan and the United States. So the final could be a match between Toyota athletes from Japan and the U.S. In Team Japan, there are six Toyota athletes from first from Toyota softball team infielder Atsumi Mana, pitcher Goto Miu, outfielder Yamazaki Saki, and catcher Mine Yukio. And also from Denso softball team outfielder Yamada Eri and infielder Kawabata Hitomi. Japan's biggest rival is the United States, right? Let's take a look back in history of Japan versus U.S. Since the Olympic Games Atlanta 1996, U.S. won the gold medal three times in a row. Japan won the gold medal in Olympic Games Beijing 2008. In the World Championship, looking back in history of about two decades since 2002, the gold medal has been won by the United States five times and Japan two times. So only seven times there was the World Championship. And so it means that, yeah, it's been either Japan or the U.S. Yes, and the finals have always been between these two countries. So now both Japan and the United States, uh, they have won the first round, so I think there could be a possibility that there will be another final between Japan and the United States. What do you think? Yeah, I was watching these two matches, but the United States, they are strong. That is why, yeah, they may be stronger than ever. Could be, and the members haven't really changed for the past five to six years. So I think that their uh, unity as a team is very high. Yes, I think so. They're close to perfect, really. And the ace of Team Un United States is Monica Abbott, as you know, a member of Toyota softball team. Monica Abbott was in the Beijing Olympics of 2008 and has been a member of Toyota softball team since 2009. And uh, Nagasaki-san, you've played with her, so I know the strength of her. Why is she so strong? Abbott, first of all, her arms and legs are so long. Yeah, we can see in this picture too, right? In the picture circle that you can see from that white line, the right foot that she's stepping, but she sometimes even goes over that line because her legs are so long. So there's about 30 meters or so between the pitcher and the catcher, but if she takes one step forward, the distance would be about 10 meters, very close to the batter. I've never been in the batter box, but the distance is so close. But actually, President, you have actually had a match with Abbott. Yeah, you were in the batter box? Yes, yes, that's true. Actually, there's a training place, right? And there I was 
I just wanted to experience how fast her ball was. But when I went there, there were nine people in the defense, actually, and waiting for me. And at the real mound was Abbott. Oh, I'm really going to be in the batter box? I was surprised. Yeah, but at that time, everyone was really worried. Maybe president might get injured. But we really wanted to see that match. So I was smiling, but I was worried. So we brought in guards for his elbow and knees. Yeah. Oh, you did that. Yes, I actually brought that. And not just that, uh, Nagasaki-san, you helped me with the batting tee to practice before the actual match. So I did practice batting, and Nagasaki-san told me, she taught me everything. And Abbott, her ball control is really good, so you could just aim here, Nagasaki-san told me. But you said the distance between the batter and pitcher will be, you would feel really close, and that's true, and you would feel that the speed is extremely fast. Waiting until it comes trying to swing, it's too late. So I think that uh, from, from when after it started, I decided to think, well, even before she goes into her actual throw, I would start hitting. That's what I tried. But yes, I was able to hit the ball. Yeah, he had two fouls, a foul ball. It hit two times, it was great, but Abbott, well, she decided to, you know, really put in her real effort in, and, well, softball, it's three out, right? So I wanted to try until three outs. I wanted three chances, yes. But then, you know, Abbott, she, you know, I'm not a professional, right, of course. The final ball she threw, do you think, do you know what it was? Yeah. She was determined to win, so she threw a change-up. Yeah, change-up to someone who's never experienced softball much, and the catcher really, uh, gave a sign to throw that. I think they never want to lose. But I think you were the one who made Abbott to do in full strength. Yeah, and yeah, I tried to change the, how I swing, and I tried to really win that match. So you really experienced that uh, number one world-class ball, yes. But compared to that time, I think she can throw even faster now. Yes, she's uh, improving now. That was at the time of uh, Olympics in Beijing. And um, she has been continuing to evolve, and she's even better now. Well, six members of Toyota athletes are representing Japan national team will have to fight against Abbott, but uh, out of them we would like to focus on two members. A hero of yesterday's Mexico, Mexico uh, match, Atsumi. 2008 uh, became a member of Toyota softball team and her she's playing shortstop. Nagasaki-san, how's Atsumi like? Well. She's a really cool player. I mean, she, I think everyone feels that is really the pillar of the defense side. I was an uh, outfielder myself, but I was Atsumi as shortstop. I really feel felt a sense of security. I thought that uh, I could really focus on my defense because she's there. Oh, very beautiful form. Like she can be on a textbook, uh, really stick to the basics and uh, beautiful. Well, we would like to see the interview from Atsumi. We asked her, how do you want to be cheered on during the competition? Well, it might be a bit unique, but because I'm sometimes said that my facial expression doesn't change much. So if you'd call out to me, smile, then I might not be holding my head up at that moment, but I will remember to smile. And by spreading smiles in our team, we will be energized. So if you ever see me looking a little bit gloomy or down with not much expression, please cheer me on, like, go with a smile. Then I think it will resonate in me, and then I will turn into a smile while I'm playing. Well, this is uh, uh, part of the interview with Atsumi. Of course, uh, you can visit uh, Toyota Times, Toyota Times uh, website to see the full interview. 
it's very rich in info, and I would highly recommend that. And she said uh, a smile is quite important. Is she a... Uh, does she not show much of an expression too much? Yeah, she's that kind of a player. Uh, but uh, she actually, on her globe, has this uh, uh, kanji character that represents the word smile. And she uh, continues on with her tradition as such. So she looks at that kanji character uh, every once in a while during her play. So maybe we'll see that on uh, TV. Yeah, yesterday indeed I was watching the match and she was such a key player of the victory yesterday. And she also showed her uh, heightened emotions after the victory. Yes, and we saw Yamada and it was a sayonara, um, wonderful victory yesterday indeed. And uh, next I would like to show you an interview with Mine Yukio. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Mine has a wonderful track record as well. Competed in the Olympic Games Beijing 2008 and won a gold medal. Uh, she retired from active playing uh, once in 2014, but she came back in 2016 joining Toyota for softball team. We asked her what she wants people to see in her play. Well, of course, uh, softball is a team play, so depending upon which field position that team member plays, you know, there's a role and responsibility to each position. Of course, uh, my role and responsibility is that of a catcher uh, in a family situation that would be like a mother. Uh, so I consider my role to be uh, somewhat of a motherhood type of uh, a position. Um, that means basically for all the teammates to be able to play at their best, uh, I will do what I can do in terms of caring after or being considerate of uh, each and every team member. Um, and there's quite a bit of brain work, I would say, uh, probably more so than the physical work when it comes to catchers. If you could uh, please um, keep that in mind while you watch our game vis-a-vis uh, -vis the match of the competition, uh, perhaps uh, your enjoyment uh, would be deepened. Uh, perhaps you can feel that I'm going through my tactical approach or you know something that I decide took a lot of courage or something of that sort. Yeah, so it's not just physical, it's uh, quite a bit of tactical play vis-a-vis -vis brain work. What do you think? Well, yeah, especially in, in softball, you know, catcher's role is different from other fielders' work, I would say. You know, they're facing, the catcher's facing uh, out to the field. Uh, she described herself as a mother of a family. Um, you know, catcher is uh, kind of a quite important pinning down of the entire family vis-a-vis -vis the team. Yes, indeed. The you know, her play style is very much like a mother. Uh, but away from the baseball field, or softball field, should I say, uh, she's also like a mother. She's always, you know, casting her warm set of eyes upon the teammates. Of course, uh, you know, she experienced Beijing, so uh, she's a veteran, and she's very uh, considerate, I would say. Uh, she's able to really, uh, you know, take a glance at the team and have the sentiment um, line up with uh, all the members. Uh, of course, uh, you know, at the time of uh, Olympic Games in Beijing, she was the youngest of the team. Uh, and as the VTR explained, she once retired from active play, uh, but she came back as an active player at Toyota. So, you know, in terms of what she has gone through in her athlete history, uh, she has a particular passion, I'm sure. Yeah. And speaking of the youngest of the team, I think of Goto. Yeah, Goto is 20 years old, but very veteran in terms of the style of the play. And, you know, as a pitcher, you saw her yesterday against Mexico. And, you know, she really grew as an athlete 
from the time she joined Toyota athlete. Yeah, so Mine-san can feel, um, you know, can align with the feeling of Goto-san and Yamazaki-san is also the starting member. Yeah, Yamazaki is actually a power hitter uh, who actually had a competition history as a uh, track and field athlete. So very strong body. Yes, indeed. Really strong players. Yeah, I think Japan softball league is quite high in terms of uh, competition level. So possibly we could have that dream match between GTTA teams. Uh, of course, uh, you know, there are six Toyota athletes that we have aforementioned representing Japan national team. And as a representative of USA, uh, we have Abbott to look for. And of course, we have had all these video messages to support the athletes. These are the words of cheer ups, and we will be webcasting these video messages at the end of the program. Uh, this really gives a lot of encouragement to the athletes, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah, and there's quite a bit of warmth that we feel. Yeah, they each each one actually has a banner, and um, that comes from the work section that they, um, you know, day-to-day -day work at Toyota, and it's quite a bit of a warm feeling, supportive feeling, all along. And this is the schedule for tomorrow. Uh, of course, uh, Japan versus Italy, USA versus Mexico, and then Sunday, Japan versus Canada, and USA versus Australia. And, of course, there's a possibility of the final, Japan versus USA. It would be so very nice to see that for real. Finally, we would like to go over GTTA Global Team Toyota Athletes competition tomorrow. Softball and others too. Handball. It's the first round. Out of 15 members, eight are Toyota Athletes. Kasahara Iwashita Yoshino, Sakai Mizumachi, and Sugioka. Also Watanabe Tokuda. Eight players. Next, badminton. The first match of doubles from Indonesia, number one ranked in the world. We have Gideon coming in and volleyball. This is the first match. Zaitsev representing Italy. He is the captain of the team. And we also have from Japan, Nishida and Takanashi. Cheers for you. Artistic gymnastics. We have Lee Chi Kai from Chinese Taipei and Samir Aitzaid from France. Beach volleyball. Mol Soram pair from Norway. They are ranked number one in the world. And 3x3 basketball. A new sports from in Tokyo Olympics. From Tokyo Olympics, Maoli Stephanie from Japan and Yamamoto Mai Hockey from Belgium. Cedric Charlier. Oh, he's the Toyota athlete. Well, his name has Cedric inside. Can I, well, I hope he'll be named Crown. But he he's Cedric, but he's part of Toyota athletes. Uh, they won silver in Rio Olympics. Next, archery. So the mix. We have Muto from Japan and swimming 400 meters freestyle. We have two members, Italy, Detti, and Norway, Chris Chanson. Swimming butterfly 100 meters. We have two members, Beckman from Denmark and USA, Manuel. She got uh, two gold in Rio. Taekwondo, 49 kilograms, number one in the world from Thailand, Wompatanakit. This will be a match for a medal. 
And finally, fencing from USA, Homer. He is a silver medalist in Rio 2016. So many competitions awaiting for us tomorrow. We want to support them as much as possible. There is a new Olympic sport and also there is a match for a medal. The results, we will be uh, telling you through Toyota Times athletes now tomorrow. And tomorrow we will have the Olympic Winter Games Vancouver 2010, a figure skater Kozuka Takahiko as athlete broadcaster. He's going to show us his, uh, he's going to do figure skating here in the studio. Maybe he could turn four times around, maybe. Well, I hope, but maybe not enough space. Yeah, I want to see him. I do want to see him. Yes, I want to see his figure skating. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's hard for him to jump here. Well, I need him to jump and spin. Anastasia, I once asked him, Mr. Kozuka, oh, and he did do that for you. Yes, I think he will. Okay, President said he, uh, we can ask him to do that. So that's exciting. Regarding the competitions and the results of Toyota athletes, it is on the special site of Toyota times athletes now Olympics Paralympics website there are also uh, interviews and like uh, for example the page of Monica Abbott there's Facebook Twitter Instagram if you press here it will be connected to the athletes uh, SNS you can see how they're doing right before the competition how they're spending their time in Japan and, and you're going to support them through social networking service, please use the hashtag Toyota Times Live. Let's become one team through support, through our support to Toyota athletes. Toyota Times athletes now, starting from 7 p.m. We will be having this program every day throughout the time of Olympics and Paralympics. And the song you're hearing now, this is composed by a musician Naoto Inti Rhyme just for us Toyota Times athletes now. Or to be more accurate, he is com composing it for us currently now. There's a message from Naoto Inti Rhyme. Everyone watching Toyota Times athletes now, I am Naoto Inti Rhyme. Yes, to support Toyota athletes, I am able to compose the song and I am also a singer, I am singing the song. The passion, I thought that it. I don't want to compose the song just by myself, but I want to create it with all members of Toyota. So President Toyota gave me keywords, ideas, for the song, and with that, I I sprinkled that on the song to compose the song. I have been playing football, so I think I have the spirit of an athlete too, and I wanted to put that into my song. The version that you've heard today, it is still not complete. I am going to arrange, make some arranges, and also I think want to expand the song even further through your input. So through Toyota Times Athletes Now, please give me more input. I hope you'll watch us every day. Thank you. A wonderful message from uh, Naoto Inti Raimi. Thank you. Thank you. Well, he said that the song is not complete yet. Oh, our Kaizen is continuous improvement. Kaizen, before Kaizen and after Kaizen, I think that is what he's trying to show through his song. And Naoto Intiraimi, he's also an athlete, so his soul and spirit will be expressed through his song. We started today, but I already have the song 
uh, looping in my mind. Very catchy. And he also said that even the verse will change. So same as Toyota, it's going to update and go through Kaizen, just like us. Yeah, Monozukuri is also transforming. We are all going to take a part in the song. We were able to uh, start this program with Naoto and Tirami's song, and we're close to our closing. How was it, Nagasaki-san? Yes, it was like a flash, but I really enjoyed the program. Yes, I hope to see you again. President, thank you for being with us throughout the program. How did you feel? Yeah, I was very nervous. No, I don't think so. Well, I think I was the number I was most nervous. Yeah, you, yeah, before Morita-san. I think, yeah, I saw the look in your eyes that you were nervous, but you gave me this badge, so I think I could calm down thanks to you, President. Maybe not calm enough, but yes, I think you grew up. Okay, I really want to share this time with you so that we can support our Toyota athletes as much as possible. Let's work together and to share and support Toyota athletes. Toyota Times Athletes Now. It was Morita Kyonosuke, Nagasaki Nozomi, and Toyota Akios. See you again 7 p.m. tomorrow. Let's go! One Toyota!